Hey everybody, Ron Roy here, and Season 4 of Diablo 4 is pretty much around the corner. So in this video I wanted to share my own tier list, that is, I pretty much completed based on my PTR experience that we played some time ago. It's pretty much my opinion about how the builds are going to perform, which will be strong ones, which will be like weaker ones. I also wanted to pick at least one build for each class for S tier because I think it's pretty much a logical appear. And S tier is pretty much the builds that are going to perform good in almost all situations. A tier just pretty much good builds that could be one trick ponies, and B tier is builds that are pretty much playable, but not that good. I don't want to go further to like C tier, or even further like F tier, because I think it's a little too much. Today I just want to focus like on best builds, uh, so what builds in my opinion are going to perform pretty good. So let's go. A um, minion necromancer build. I think it's going to be completely insane that season because minions are heavily buffed. They have crazy amount of damage in almost all cases. They also have like a little better intelligence in my opinion, and they're going to overwhelm enemies without any kind of issues. So generally, I really like the minion approach because of that. Both minion necromancer and shadow minion necromancer are going to be completely insane. They're going to clap everything without any kind of questions. The only issues that they have at the current moment is pretty much the builds are kind of slow. But in the new season it will be much easier to compensate with and I think Necromancers are not really going to suffer that heavily from lower movement speed. Another S tier build that I think is going to perform amazingly well is Tornado Druid. Because right now, Tornado Druid can overstack a crazy amount of damage. And Tornadoes themselves are pretty nice too. They have a great clear, they can cover your screen, and there's a lot of combinations. The Wolf form also provides a lot of speed, and you can run faster and be faster overall. Bash Barbarian, in my opinion, is another Astro build, and it's very underappreciated by a lot of people. I tested it in the PTR, and well, I think it's going to overperform all expectations. Bash is probably one of the best all-rounders right now, because it's very easy to build, you don't need any kind of additional items, and it could be pretty strong, so both single target and AoE is very good, and the build itself is pretty tanky. I think Bash is a pretty decent option, I'm probably going to do my own Bash build version a little later into the season. Another build that I think is going to be very good is Bolsor. I think bolsor has been kind of up there and then down there for some time, however it's still very strong. It can do a lot of damage, it can be pretty fast, and well, Sorcerers could be pretty tanky with the new changes in Season 4. Frozen Orb Sorcerer is my guess that it's still going to be S tier. I'm not sure about it, maybe it will fall to A tier, but right now it still feels for me like it's going to be S. It's nerfed compared to PTR version, but it's been completely insane in PTR, and I think even nerfed version is going to perform so freaking good. It has huge AoE, and a lot of spammy abilities. You will cast so many orbs at the same time that just going to cover everything with them. I'm personally going to play for Frozen Orb, and I'm going to enjoy it. If you're interested in following such stuff, feel free to follow the channel, I'm going to post some builds with it too. Rapid Fire Rogue is, in my opinion, probably like strongest rogue build at that moment. And it works absolutely insane. And it will have both huge one-shot potential, so you can just like kill your enemies immediately, and a pretty decent AoE. So clear is going to be alright too. In my opinion, this is the best all-rounder out of all rogue builds. Moving to the A tier, I think Hurricane Druid is going to do great. Mostly because it can utilize all the changes just fine, and it feels much more buffed in the season. Punchshot Rogue feels pretty good too. I think it's like turn down option of rapid fire because you will need a little more setup, but you can do huge crits with only one proper hit. So it should feel pretty good for people who enjoy big numbers. Firebolt Sorcerers is going to do just insane single target damage. But clear is not so good, so I can't move to S tier. However, I think potential is here, and we'll see what people are going to come up with when we are talking about Firebolt. 
Bulldog Druid is just a really nice build. I think it can clear just fine. And it lacks a little convenience. In my opinion, I really like how Bulldogs look. And that's one of my favorite Druid builds. However, I don't really think it can do enough damage to go to Esther properly. Torn Barbarian is pretty much one of the builds that I think a lot of people are kind of sleeping on. Because Torns are very buffed that season. And there will be a lot of Torn builds. So they're going to dominate PvP, in my opinion. And I think they're going to feel pretty good in Pete as well. So Torn Barb is probably one of the best options and definitely have S tier potential. Blight Necromancer is just good, I think it's going to perform fine, but not a lot of stuff changed compared to the previous version. Meteor Sorceress is another build I'm pretty much uh, happy about. I want to play it and I want to test it, but I think right now that it lacks a lot of interactions to go to S tier. However, potential is here and we will see how it's going to perform. Infeminist has not really changed a lot, it's a pretty relaxed play style and it's still pretty good and playable. So I would say a solid A tier. Burridge Walk is pretty much another build that kind of outshine by the Rapid Fire. So Rapid Fire is going to perform stronger in almost all situations, in my opinion. Blizzard Sorceress is going to be very strong. This is the, another Sorcerer build with crazy S tier potential. I think it can go up there because of the huge AoE on overlaps. You can spam a lot of different Blizzards, like staining all of them and hitting enemies with them. So I think Blizzard have potential for us there. However, right now, because it's kind of not really movie, so it's not really moves enough, I would say that's probably the main reason why it will stay in ATR. Bone Spirit Necromancer has like an amazing single target, but it's harder to spam it, and I feel like the belt is not that convenient to play. So I would put it to A tier, but some people could argue in S tier there. Storm Druid is another build that been kind of popular before, so Lightning Storm been great in the previous season. However, since you need to stay in place to cast it, I don't really think it's that amazing. B tier is pretty much the builds that are kind of fallen from grace. It's pretty much Bone Spear Necromancer. That Still playable, but I don't really think it's strong enough right now. Pulverized Druid, which is pretty nice in my opinion, and it's going to be a pretty good leveling build. However, in the proper end game, it kind of falls off heavily. Arclash Sorcerer, which is pretty much, well, in my opinion, it's like weaker version of Bolsor. Stonecloud Druid could be nice and it's very easy to build, but for me, it feels like more of a starter build. And when we are talking about Charge Barbarian, it's been amazing the previous season. But right now, well, it just feels not that good anymore because they can inert cooldowns and single target damage is completely not there. Leap Barbarian is pretty fast too, but lacks damage as well. In my opinion, it's going to stay in the B tier and it will be much harder to perform better with it. Bloodlands Necromancer have been pretty good too, I really like the build and I think it's pretty nice. However, it's much harder to stack cool bonuses for it right now, and I think B tier is pretty much what it's going to land. And any kind of additional stuff like Fireball and Fireball Sword, I think it's great for leveling, and it's going to be a nice starter build, but falling off heavily, especially Fireball part. It's pretty much a weaker version of Meteor that lacks additional bonuses. And uh, Hota Burp, this is the last build in the B tier, I think it's going to stay in B because it's nerfed pretty like significantly and it will be much harder to perform better with it right now. So that's pretty much my tier list, how it looks. I'm just going to guess how it's going to perform and I hope you will be able to pick the builds that kind of going to work for you. Personally, I'm going to play Frozen Orb Sorceress and going to try Bash Barbarian as well. So those two classes are going to be my main ones for that season. Thank you very much for watching and have an amazing start.